constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The 31st Annual General Meeting of the Sri Lanka Association of Manufacturers and Exporters of Rubber Products was held under the patronage of State Minister of Finance, Eran Vikramaratna, with the participation of the manufacturers and exporters of rubber products of Sri Lanka recently. Exports and R&D is a central part of our economic strategy. While industry would invest in short-term R&D, there is a necessity for government to intervene in long-term R&D because I think that the potential of leapfrogging as an economy really rests in science and technology and therefore that's where we want to be. Government is firmly committed to the development of the rubber industry. This industry has a great untapped potential. Regrettably, our position in the world's natural rubber industry has slipped from 5th to 14th place at present. Our market share is just around 0.7 of the global market for natural rubber. We have a long way to go in reaching that potential. Now this requires an investment. It is estimated at more than US dollars, 1.5 billion over the medium term to augment the existing investment to reach such potential. I'm certain that the association with steadfast dedication will have the eagerness to foster more and more investment partnerships. It's disappointing to note that the rubber production in the country grew only 7%, 85,000 tonnes in 2017. And it is critical that the Plantations Industries Minister take all necessary action to uplift and promote natural rubber production in Sri Lanka. The positive development last year in our sector in Sri Lanka was marked by the renewal of the European GSP Plus. Bilateral free trade agreements with China and India are currently under negotiation. And I urge the government to finalize these free trade agreements as these will enhance our industry growth opportunities and prospects in the future. A noteworthy event in our collaboration with the government was when Sri Lanka had to face an unjustified anti-dumping and countervailing duties charge imposed by the United States for pneumatic OTR tires. Our country does not have tire testing laboratories that are on par with global standards, which is long overdue. The government of Sri Lanka has allocated 100 million rupees in the last budget for the rubber industry master plan. Thank you, Honorable State Finance. As a concluding note, we urge the Minister of Finance and the State Minister representing the Minister of Finance this evening to kindly implement the government approval 75% wave of PAL on import of high-tech machinery, which was approved during the 2017 budget.